Our trivia question. In 1987, Heritage Guitar had a very special order to fill. Can you tell from the fabulous design who this was for? The answer is frequent guest on the show, Rendell Wall, is seen holding this custom guitar created for the recently deceased Prince. Ah, oh, such a cool guitar. We love our Heritage Guitar. They are celebrating 30 years here in Kalamazoo. And I'm very honored to have a special guest to display the David Becker Signature 575 model. Grammy name and nominated guitarist, composer, and producer, David Becker. Such a pleasure to have you My here. My pleasure to be here, Lori. And you brought your baby. I did. This is, this is the original prototype. And Rendell did the electronics on it. And I brought it into the factory yesterday. I haven't seen him in a while. He was checking everything out, making sure everything was cool. But they made this back in, in 87. I've been playing it. It's the million miler, because she and I have over a million miles of travel and performances and uh, holding strong. When you get this model as the David Becker model that's available for purchase, it's exactly like this. It has the same pickup configuration, the same wood and everything. So what an well, getting a Grammy nomination is an honor, but having your own guitar it is. That's it, a different kind of honor. It is. Too. We talked about that earlier. For me, it's you know, it's not just the, the vanity of having the guitar and my name on it. I've had twenty eight years of experience with it. So I can tell people what it's done for me and what I can do with it and that's most important and I have an obligation to fill with that so you've gone well as you said millions of a million miles you've been all over the world tell us about your career well I started off uh, when I was 22 um, uh, founded the David Becker Tribune with my brother Bruce on drums and we've been going 30 years strong or a little longer actually we toured Europe in the beginning um, we were signed to some larger labels like MCA we've toured the world uh, performed with guys like Miles Davis and Chick Corea and uh, Ron Carter and wow. a whole bunch of people uh, we played Kalamazoo back in 87 we played the State Theater that was a great gig I remember that I was 24 years old and uh, yeah, that's something I, I a gig like that you don't forget no so Kalamazoo has especially with heritage has a, a, a place in my heart so I'm how did you know about them how did you find them to because they were fairly new at that they time. were and um, I had a Gibson that was built in Kalamazoo a 175 and I was looking for something that would be brand new but would have a little bit more of what I needed for what I was doing and uh, I just happened to meet them at a guitar show in Los Angeles and uh, it was a perfect fit so we were touring the Midwest and I had a day off we went to Kalamazoo I met uh, all the guys there they said Marv said we'll make you whatever you want you know and the funny story is the finish on this guitar is not the one I had chosen I had chosen a different one this is called Almond Sunburst and uh, Marvin Lamb one of the founders uh, designed that and he said I got this new finish you want to try it and I said well I'm not sure and he says I was leaving the factory he said Are you sure you don't want that finish and I said you know what I'll take it and I'm Good so job. glad I did well <laughs> you look at the back of the guitar Ooh, look how beautiful that is that's that, maple, you know it's breathtaking yeah I, you can see it on TV to see it in person is even more amazing yeah. but we want to hear it okay we want to hear it so what are we going to be hearing you play we're going to hear a short version of a tune from my new album the lonely road and it's a tune that I wrote um, about my travels it's called seat 3a because that's our favorite seat on the airplane <laughs> and it will demonstrate the versatility of the guitar because it's a jazz guitar but it has a lot of versatile sounds and everything you're hearing is coming from this instrument there's nothing that's manipulated to be you know uh, synthesize it's all coming from here all so. right let's listen
That sounds awesome. Thank you. Looks beautiful too. You were saying you could custom order these before, but now they're now it's a signature model you can order at the David Becker 575 when you order it just like this. So Where are you off to next, David? Well, I head back to California tomorrow early, then I have a little time off, and then uh, I've got some dates up in Northern California, and then I head to Italy, and then after Italy I'm heading to uh, New Zealand and Australia, and then back to Europe and then uh, Argentina. So uh, <laughs> there's a few other dates in between. I think Eugene, Oregon is on the map and uh, some other things as well. So. You're the most worldly person I've ever met. Well. <laughs> <laughs> You're fortunate to have had such a great career. I am. I'm very, very fortunate. And every day that I do what I do, I'm so blessed and I'm so thankful for it. So. And where do we find your music? You find it on, you can go to www.davidbeckertribune.com. That's the website for myself and the band. Uh, we're on iTunes. Uh, you can get uh, The Lonely Road on iTunes. So just Google me or go to the website. Go to Facebook. There's a David Becker Tribune page there. There's a David Becker page too, but it's all filled up. I've got thousands of friend requests. So like the page, send me a, a, a note, and I'd be happy to send something back to you. Fantastic. What a pleasure meeting you. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. And yay, Heritage Guitar. 30 years? Yes, 30 years, yeah. Love it. Thanks, David. We will be right back on The Lori Moore Show on your CW7. Coming up on our next show, we'll have some May movie picks with Alamo Draft House's creative manager, James Sanford. We'll meet the actors from Farmer's Alley Theater's Murder for Two. They have a tough job acting and playing the piano. It's going to be a great show in conjunction with the Gilmore. Sheriff Richard Fuller will be here along with Linda Teeter. We'll talk about the transit millage and the public safety millage. If you're involved in something that you'd like us to feature on the show, call us email us or message us on Facebook. You can like us on Facebook and you can catch past segments of the show at WWMT.com under features. Every day we talk about what's going on in Kalamazoo and you can always refer back to those episodes. We thank you so much for watching. Thanks to all of our great guests today and we'll talk to you again tomorrow on your CW7. The Lori Moore Show is underwritten by the Kalamazoo Community Foundation. Love where you live. The Lori Moore Show is also brought to you in part by these other fine sponsors. Furniture provided by Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries of West Michigan.